And the only way forward is make it meaningful, make something that is attractive to them. Hundred and twelve years ago, Eaton began in Axles. You are a major institution here and worldwide. I don't really think people know what Eaton does. You give us some insight. What does Eaton do? Yeah, well, I think it's interesting. A hundred twelve year old story. Um, it, we changed a lot over time. One thing we haven't changed is our innovation DNA. So we continue to innovate. As of today, we serve electrical markets, all the way from residencies, going through utilities, going to data centers, you know, industrial facilities, hospitals. We also have a large footprint in the industrial businesses, meaning aerospace, both commercial, military aerospace, but also the vehicle business across passenger cars, um, commercial vehicles, and now electric vehicles. So we are right at the center of everything that's meaningful today. If you think about energy transition, you think about digitalization, electrification, it plays to the core of who we are as a company. So really excited about our growth opportunities. What are your favorite products that you make? Um, I, like, I like what we are doing now. We are combining in this electrification environment, this automotive DNA that we have for more than 100 years. That's how the company started and teaming up with electrical colleagues, bringing solutions to this market, things we know how to do for many, many decades in power protection, power distribution, uniting this and making it real for vehicle EMs that are trying to make the electrical car. So it's really exciting. So this is converging. What are the barriers to that adoption of the Industry 4.0? Yeah, I guess, um, Sometimes in our own company, when we, we, we get investment requests from our, for our people, you see people that are doing really well, they want to get better. <laughs> so they want to adopt this technology where we should think about where it's most needed. So it's always to think about where there's labor scarcity or the labor is expensive that can make the, the whole operation um, not so competitive. That's where we should go and focus. So if every company looks at this way, I think we're going to modernize our plants big time. We're doing this as we speak here in, in a plant we have a couple of miles from here. So it's about making this closer to the customer, closer to uh, our engineering centers and, and making still competitive. You don't need to cross the whole world to make it competitive. And you probably heard about uh, all the investments that Eaton is making in North America. We have large investments. We, we talked about almost a billion dollars in, in, in capacity expansion. It's a big bet in the U.S. market, in North America more broadly. So we're investing in a, a electrical equipment that go to utilities. We're investing in, in equipment that go into data centers. That is a never-stop growth story. We're investing in, in also aerospace growth. We're investing in electrical vehicle growth. Also here in North America and primarily in the U.S. So a billion dollars you're going to be investing in North America. Why are you doubling down now? Why? Because we see all those mega trends that support this narrative and the growth will be sustained. So I'm talking about, again, electrification trends. I'm talking about re, uh, all this onshoring or reshoring to the U.S., all those mega projects, mega plants that have been installed here for batteries, for you know chips, etc., Everything that comes to the U.S. in terms of heavy manufacturing investment, we require our products and solutions. So if we are to participate in this market, we need to invest as well. And also, I think we see, we see the tip of the iceberg already in our books. We have record backlogs, so that's the time. We are not late, but we are not, we are not speculating either. We need that. It's a very solid need. So we're going we're gonna to invest, and we're going to win in this space because we have what it takes. We have the people, we have the technology, we just need more manufacturing capacity, we'll build it. Innovation, at the core of Eaton. Yeah. What is your innovation process like? We always work through the customer lenses. There are a number of things we can do. 
but where we really win is what problem you're trying to solve. So we like the collaborative work with, with customers where we, we work based on the, on, on the challenge they want to solve or direction they need to go. We need to have the credibility as a trusted partner for a very long time. So our customers will open up what they need to do. And then you bring the whole company and we have a large company, with vast portfolio. We have a lot to offer. So I like always to start, we do research as well. Don't get me wrong. We have our research labs, etc. but we like always to start from a customer need, and then we can put, uh, you know, our teams to discuss on how to solve those issues. That's the best way to innovate. I'm going to switch to talking about culture. Yeah. So uh, you talk about enabling people. Mm -hmm. You've, I, I've also heard you talk about the diversity and how important that was to you. What are the other elements of, of creating a positive culture that you personally really lean into? Yeah, I guess uh, my principle is not to take people for granted. I believe people have choices. They choose to work for us. They're not, you know, we're not the only game in town. So if you work under that mindset, you're always asking yourself what I need to do to win people's hearts and minds every day. I guess, you know, once again, we all have bad days. There are days I have bad days as well, right? So it's, it's to take a step back and say, is my work meaningful? So that's, the, again, the why, why we come to work. Yes, it's meaningful. Am I respected in, in, in this company by who I am and what I bring to the table? If the answer is yes, most probably I'm going to stay, even if I had a bad day. If the first question is, I don't know if my work is meaningful, I don't understand where the company is going and I don't fit, chances are I'm not a good fit for the company. So I'm oversimplified, but I think uh, we are human beings. We decide emotionally, then we look for, for the logical uh, answers. But I think that goes through this framework. Can you tell me more about the community piece? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Why is that meaningful to you? It's meaningful because, you know, um, we, we are present in so many different countries, right? We, we have 160 plus factories across the world. Um, in some towns, we are the town, right? <laughs> so we, there are little, little towns with 10,000 inhabitants. We have a factory with 1,000 employees. So you, you create a positive impact on society if you act the right way. Your comments around the community actually mirrors what I'm talking about all the time because manufacturing has this huge multiplicative effect out there, right? Do you, you know, we believe that this region with its huge concentration of manufacturing really can be a leader in smart manufacturing across the world. Do you see that the same way? I agree. And I think this is the only sustainable way forward. If you want to really to keep and grow the manufacturing footprint in a region like Northeast Ohio is to invest in technology and lead the way. We'll keep this region um, competitive in the future, but I'm also always thinking about the talent. Right? It's almost like, how would I convince kids at age of mine to look into manufacturing? And the only way forward is make it meaningful, make something that is attractive to them. So I think it goes through 4.0 for sure and smart manufacturing. What are you most proud of? I think uh, I'm proud of what the company, uh, the journey that the company um, has, and I'm even more excited about the future. What I mean by that, in my five years in the company, I saw how we evolved as a team and how we invested in the things we believed, how we changed our portfolio to grow faster, how we invest in technology. At the same time, every day we're pushing ourselves. We don't get complacent. We are trying to get better. So I'm really proud of that. But then I look at how our end markets that we are well positioned to serve, how they're, be, how they're growing and growing fast, that gives me a lot of excitement and makes me proud of being a leader in this organization. I want to be part of it. So the future is bright. Yeah.